Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. And I'm Jake. And today we're we're dipping back in to that collectible monster well that we love so much. It's time for another round of Pokemon from memory. I want to draw some Pokemon. I want to draw some Pokemon, but Nathan, there's too many Pokemon out there. Yeah. We got to introduce a wrinkle. We got to introduce a fold into our operations here. We got to get as we got to double up on Pokemon. We got to get the maximum bang for our saws buck, if you will. I got an idea, Caldwell. What do, you, what do you suggest, Jake? Everybody loves dogs, right? We all agree dogs are cool. Dogs are A+. Plus. If uh, Dogs are essentially Pokemon in real life. But you know what's even better? Yes. Hybrids. Ooh. Like, let's get a Labradoodle. Let's get a Puggle going on. Yeah. Let's fuse some Pokemon. Jake, I like where you're coming from. Mm. This is a Pokemon angle I can get on board. This suggestion comes to us from Alex Onsiger. <laughs> who created the website, <laughs> Pokemon.alexonsiger.net, which is uh, better known to the internet at large as Pokemon Fusion! Yay! So we're going to be uh, doing some blind Pokemon fusions today. Jake has got it pulled up on his phone. Nathan is, of course, going to start because Nathan possesses the most knowledge about Pokemon, and we'll just take this train further and further off the rails from there. Without any further ado, Nathan, would you like to draw a Pokemon? Oh my god, I want to draw two Pokemon at once. I just, I hit the website, and the first thing that came up is already just such a beautiful boy. Such a <laughs> wondrous, just baby that I want to suckle at my man bosom. Uh, Polly Kazam. Polly Kazam! Half Poliwhirl, half Alakazam. Oh my goodness. Jake, I'll, I'll forgive it this time, but I don't think you should even say the, the component Pokemon in the future. <laughs> right, because a Polykazam, that could have been a Poliwag Alakazam or a it, Polyrath Alakazam. It, oh, don't you hate it when when Poliwhirl and Poliwrath are in the same room and you don't you forgot which one was which? Oh, yeah, it's very embarrassing. Are we sure that it's not a Kazam that's just into polyamorous relationships? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just... Kazam, that's just Alakazam, like yeah. that mustache. <laughs> that's just eyes. how they do. <laughs> He's He doesn't like being constricted to traditional egg groups, you know? Like, <laughs> just keep an open mind. Is, oh yeah, are we sure it's just not an orgy of Kazams that you've stumbled upon? <laughs> it's sex, but it's magic sex. It's very different. You wouldn't get it. It's As soon as everyone's done, they just teleport away. It's like real, it's real bad. It's, yeah, it, it's seven years good luck if you stumble upon a Polykazam. <laughs> oh my god, that is a deep, that is a deep, deep Pokedex cut. I feel like we're going to have to add some new characters into the dark Pokedex. <laughs> <laughs> Forbidden Dex. Like, it's the same, like, red clamshell design, but it just has, like, <laughs> just stitched leather all around it. <laughs> it's got a Pokeball that's just got an eye in the middle of it. <laughs> a face that just yells, beware, every time. Yeah, if you take one of the dark Pokemon to a Pokemon Center, it just poisons all Pokemon. <laughs> 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 it just poisons the well. Any PC that you put a dark Pokemon into just instantly corrodes. And you know that it's the virus that is the dark Pokemon is spreading because more and more Pokemon in the computer just have Bluetooth in their ears. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, where'd you get that blue? Oh my God, no. Oh no. Oh, no. Nathan, I think both of these Pokemon were in, like, the original 150. Yeah. And I, I actually can recognize elements of the original oh, Pokemon. Oh, wait, why is he is so scared, nice. though? Because uh, he shouldn't be. Because <laughs> yeah, he specifically, he literally has no mouth and he must scream. <laughs> 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 I do like that th this seems like almost an improvement where the spiral would allow him to hypnotize his prey, perhaps. Perhaps. It's yeah. like a hypno. This is, I, I feel like I could see a thing where this was Game Freak's original design, but then they split it into like three different Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like Hanzo and Genji in Overwatch. Right. Whoa. Yeah, Whoa. Hanzo and Genji in Overwatch were originally just going to be called Hanzinji. <laughs> <laughs> The original character design, which you can find online, that mm -hmm. they eventually split, was just called Japan! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> and it was just, you. what you did was you fired samurai swords from a bow, and you were the best character in the game. It was it was basically the 
ultra beginner level player mm -hmm. that everyone was going to be able to use, but then they made it into two very hard classes. <laughs> Uh, Nathan, I feel so bad for this creation. Like, I just imagine the trainer that's like, I'm about to show you something you've never seen before. <laughs> Go, Polly Kazam. And then this, like, poor creature is just like, <laughs> I like to think that it tried to escape. Like, it's an Abra that tried to uh, teleport away, but then it just oh. got stuck inside a Polly world. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a teleporter accident. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a Cronenberg. Help me. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> well, there he is. That's a good Nathan. This is what Polly Kazam looked like on the uh, on that. Oh, that's yeah. way better. It's that's a different bad. mix and match. I don't know if we're ever gonna be able to top this. J.K., let me add it, Jake. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> oh, Caldwell, you got a you got a good one. I'm ready for it, Caldwell. Your Pokemon is Electrobat. Electrobat. <laughs> F oh wait, you don't want to know which one, two ones it is. No, no, I don't. Keep it. Keep that a secret. That's that's a tough one because that's a challenge in and of itself, I guess. Because mm -hmm. Electrobat is just a really normal name. So <laughs> yeah. that's just definitely a Gen One Pokemon. Yeah, I feel like a, a more a less experienced Pokemon artist might draw a Zubat. But right. they'll be wrong because Golbat is obviously the stupider Pokemon to base this <laughs> off of. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just get uh, just the dumbest face we can in there. Yes. Just a mile of mouth. This is basically our design podcast where we just rag on initial Pokemon designs. <laughs> I imagine they had like a weekly evolution roundup meeting. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, how are we going to fix this Zubat? I don't know. <laughs> Give it just a mile of mouth. Much mouth, please. <laughs> How much mouth? Much. <laughs> it's just Batman going blah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like Gengar if, if Gengar was bad. It just drew Bad Gengar starring Billy Bob Thornton. Bad Gengar 2 in theater. <laughs> Bat Gengar. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a dumb bad pillow with a tongue. <laughs> you've, drawn, <laughs> you've drawn a new Pokemon, a new pillow type Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a bad Pokemon, but like a really successful like vinyl toy collection you buy at like at a failing record store. Yeah, I feel like if I just drew this one character for 20 years, instantly it would somehow be like, Caldwell Tanner, artist of Pillow Men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these Pillow Men. Did you see that they did the new Ghostbusters as Pillow Men? So <laughs> Oh no, oh no, it's real. It's this cool new idea. Uh, I was just like, I was sitting on my drawing tablet one day and I thought, what if we made collectible pillows that you didn't want to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's, a, that's on the level of iPhone in terms of revolutionary <laughs> ideas. Get this. So, so it's like a pillow with a face on it and I, and I have sex with it? No, that's the thing. You put it on a shelf and you buy a ton of them. You had my attention. <laughs> now you have my financial back. <laughs> All right, so I think what I'm going to do, as you can see, uh, I've added a plug. Um, <laughs> Cole, do you have an idea which uh, electric Pokemon that has Electra in the name? I, my thought was Electabuzz, right? Mm. That's what I was thinking. Mm. Yeah. And the only thing I know about Electabuzz is that he has beefy arms. Mm -hmm. Is that he, right? He's Tiger Shrek. Yeah, he's yeah. Tiger right. Shrek. Well, yeah, we, he's Bumblebee Shrek, as we discussed before. Right. And this is, of course, Bat Shrek. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Batman and Shrek mash together. But also, <laughs> the thing about Electabat uh, is he's electric type, but he doesn't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> it it's makes... a Pokemon that don't, that don't want. Yeah. Right. If this Pokemon had their druthers, they would not be electric type because they are just constantly getting electrocuted at all times. <laughs> They're just kind of a, a lightning rod, essentially. It makes it hard to fly. <laughs> Electrobat! Electrobat! Like, hold on, let me translate into, into English. It hurts. It hurts so much. <laughs> you just kind of put it out in a thunderstorm, and it gathers a bunch of electricity, and then you can recharge all of your electronics with it. It's mm -hmm. like a portable battery, but it is not happy about that fact. That's why they live in caves for the most part, is because they're so scared of going outside. <laughs> Now, I know you're trying to be, like, funny and doing uh -huh. a twist on Pokemon lore, but, like, yeah. literally that's as dark and, like, effed up as a regular Pokedex entry it's could true. be. <laughs> <laughs> Electrobat fears going outside because humans use it to charge their phones. Yeah, also it's got the soul of a dead child in it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Always. Just for good Always. measure. Always. That's like half the Pokedex at this point, right? I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. He's got like the soul of a dead child or like lures children into the woods mm-hmm. or like, you know, tries to drown people. Or its life is infinite pain. Right. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to tell us something. Maybe maybe the person that's writing the Pokedex entries is trying to tell us something about their life. Gibblegar is uh, stuck in a dead-end copywriting job for a major <laughs> Japanese game company. <laughs> he was promised a promotion years ago, but never received it. <laughs> Some could say that he's a ghost of his former self. <laughs> Is everything okay at Creatures, Inc.? I worry about those guys. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, a, I'm about done here. Can I see how close I was to the actual thing? Well, you went on a lot of tangents, and I feel like you should be rewarded for this daring interpretation. <laughs> but uh, the fusion base was Electrode, the oh. upside-down Voltorb, oh. and oh, Zubat. If you look at it carefully, it's basically just if the Jamper was a bat. <laughs> <laughs> It's just it's just Rouge the Bat, but less yeah. sexy. <laughs> it's an even sexier Rouge the Bat. You're right. But honestly, Nathan and I are just the appetizers. It's time for the main course. Oh yeah, it's time, it's time to tuck in. <laughs> this You're is why a we're lot of hype for me, Caldwell. This is why we're all here. <laughs> this is the main event. This is a, a lot of pressure. Uh, Julia, your fusion Pokemon is Exegion. Exegion. <laughs> Exegion. Exegion. Exeg Eon. <laughs> Exeg Eon. Eon. Stan Lee's catchphrase, Exeg Eon. <laughs> True believers. <laughs> All right. Can you just draw a bunch of eggs with Stan Lee's face? Just a bunch of old man eggs. <laughs> don't, don't give me hints, Caldwell. <laughs> if you give Evie like a really good brunch, it turns into Exeg Eon. <laughs> Exegion. Okay. Exegion. So wait, yeah, Jake, are you gonna uh, tell Julia the components of this one? Don't. Don't. No, don't. Oh, oh, oh! Bold challenge. Julia doesn't. Julia want denies it. help. I don't want it. <laughs> the gutters are down. Julia's. <laughs> my mind needs to be unclouded. <laughs> oh my god, she's like radiating light right now. This is amazing. <laughs> we're just Julia is is we're we're in a miasma of possibility, and and Julia is the lighthouse that is guiding us to truth. <laughs> Um, I've been wearing an artist scouter on my face this entire episode, and uh-huh. looking at Julia, it just exploded. I do like that we already have a collared shirt <laughs> for this Pokemon. <laughs> oh, oh, look at the spindle leg. <laughs> oh, it's so spindly. Nathan, I like that at this point, our job is just to throw people off the scent. It's like if somehow this is still their first video that they've watched from us, yeah. they're like, okay, this, this kind of look like Pokemans. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> he got pretty close. He, he just drew what that would look like. Caldwell, like, he had a little more fun with his. Um, uh, Surely the next thing that appears isn't going to be something that Tim Burton had a nightmare of after he ate too much cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. At this point, this is reminding me, maybe this is like an offshoot of uh, of Togepi. This is like if Togepi went to medical school. <laughs> this is like Tim- if Togepi got a CPA. Yeah. <laughs> what was my name again? Exegion. 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 Okay. I forgot. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this is... I just... I, I, I entered a few state. Anyway, yeah, I just had this. This image has always been inside me since I was born. I just but wanted to yeah, get this sure. out. Julia, your name is Julia. You work for dorkly.com. Where am I? Your dog's name is Scout. <laughs> Julia's eyes have turned red. Is it is it sitting or is this how it stands? <laughs> Oh my Nathan, God. you know the answer to that already. <laughs> oh, good. Pupils. <laughs> oh, great. An iris and a pupil. Oh, the old, the old DreamWorks special. There it is. I tried to do some... Uh, before we started recording this, I literally Google image searched the word Pokemon mm-hmm. to try to come to a consensus if there was like a style. But each Pokemon has like different eyes that they use. Yeah. They they really switch it up. Julia, are those cheeks or are those face arms? <laughs> Good question. Uh, both are terrifying. Jake, I think the correct term is pedipalp. <laughs> I think those. Were... 
<laughs> no, no, no. Mandibles. Mandibles. Pedipalps are like uh, uh, reproductive, I think. Oh. oh. Mm. No, no, I was right. <laughs> 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 the male exegion uses his face pedipels. <laughs> Those are what we call sex arms. <laughs> Go, exegion! <laughs> it's using its signature ability. <laughs> <laughs> He's never seen an exegion her <laughs> this strong before. <laughs> Hey, SpongeBob, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm crying oh again. God. Why do I always cry during these videos? It's me, Patrick Starfish's brother, Exegion. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I love that you always draw uh, both suspenders and belts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those pants are actively trying to run away yeah. at all times. I need to be, like, physically just... Held at a... I what? also safety pinned them to my skin. <laughs> Julie, did you learn how to draw from like Gordon Gecko? What the fuck is up with these colors? <laughs> all of your Pokemon, all of your creatures are just these weird mashos of like executive businessmen of like Wall Street bankers and you know something out of all real monsters. <laughs> Do you want to know my thought process for this? Please. So, Exegion, the only word I could get out in the beginning was egg. So, I drew the top of an egg. Right. And then... No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm no, eggs. you didn't, but continue. Well, it's an upside down egg. <laughs> what are them sharp eggs? What are those sharp eggs? You need to get better chickens. You need to go to a better grocery store. I'm sorry. <laughs> he looks like one of those diseased kernels of corn that, like, they claim is a delicacy, but, like, it's weird and gross. I think that we just can't, we can't let this slide. Julia, do you know what an egg is? <laughs> um, the other word was executive. Mm -hmm. And then I got Eon. So I made him an, uh, an egg executive that's old. Oh, cool. An old egg, ex an old egg executive. Someone did a real number on your toilet back there. <laughs> 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 this guy's dad is clearly in charge of the firm. What's our plan for social media? <laughs> also, what is social media? Someone explain to me what buzzwords are. Someone <laughs> explain it to me. <laughs> Get it? I went to Harvard somehow. <laughs> Get it. Where's my coffee? <laughs> Everybody's been scrambling to get the reports in on time. I swear to God, if I don't get that report, I'm going to let all of you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a much better case. Yeah. <laughs> Exegion. Exegion. My dad's the VP. <laughs> Cut to a chicken. <laughs> Our rivals have been poaching our clients. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you guys think this is just a big yoke? <laughs> <laughs> People's oh, livelihoods God. are in the line. <laughs> 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 Just the poor 10-year-old that owns this guy. <laughs> oh, I got a wonder trade. What is it? Exegion. <laughs> In his mega evolution, he just like kicks a Chansey's egg out of its pouch and just climbs inside. <laughs> <laughs> I live here now. <laughs> hey, this is my office. Uh, uh, yay! We did I gave it. Him hair. Oh my God, Julia! We've done this <laughs> so many times, and it's still just mind breaking. <laughs> I try to keep the surprises coming. I think we're just going to have to keep doing this in, in forever and ever yep. until I finally die. <laughs> or I learn, I learn what Pokemon is. Never, <laughs> never learn what Pokemon is. I mean, the real goal is just fill up an original Pokedex and just rom hack the hell out Yo, of Alpha Sapphire. You, you've, you've, found our, <laughs> you've found our ultimate plan. Mm. There's, there's no reason for me and Caldwell to draw in these episodes. <laughs> It's just, it's the, there's nothing better than this. <laughs> there's no reason for us to be here at all, yeah, honestly. Like, we could just set Julia loose in a room <laughs> and like, we just slip Pokemon names under the door. 
<laughs> no, you convince the audience that they haven't lost their minds completely. <laughs> It's it's a Charlie Brown in the football situation. Like, did I yeah. do drugs before this? <gasps> yeah, Nathan Maybe. and I are the are the false shepherds, <laughs> <laughs> and Julia is the prophet of madness. Julia, I'm yeah, just going to show like? you the what the original prompt was: a delightful combination of Executor and Vaporeon. Exegion, look how friendly and nice he is. He's just like a mermaid <laughs> dog. Yeah, he's adorable with and, a beard for and some Vaporeon. <laughs> And I would love to have this creature in my house instead of the Nightmare Colonel. <laughs> the Dark Pokedex gains yet another victim slash member. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like Julia and you like watching Julia draw, you should check her out on our Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv backslash drawfee show. We try and do an episode uh, every Sunday. And please just, you know, keep watching the channel. If you've got friends who like Pokemon and being lied to, tell them to watch Drawfy <laughs> and our other Pokemon for Memory videos. And we're also on Drawfy Snapchat. Oh yeah, Drawfy Show. Yeah, you can see us do weird, everyday, crazy antics. Every single person you tell about the channel like helps Nathan and Caldwell out immensely. Like, don't yeah. be shy. Maybe you've got a friend that just loves eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he likes business. Maybe he likes business eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. We're, We're very sorry. 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 <laughs> <laughs>